The way most people edit in Descript is inefficient and slow, but there's a feature that will literally save you hours per project the moment you start using it. The best part, it's so easy to learn that in the next few minutes, you'll know everything you need to know to start using it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make and use layouts, some common layouts you should create and stick around to the end to see how I saved one client over five hours on every single podcast edit. So what are layouts and why should I be using them? To understand layouts and why they're valuable, I want you to think of this guy. For 30 years, Steve Jobs famously wore the same outfit every single day. Why did I do that? Well, it reduced the time that he needed to spend thinking about what clothing to go out and buy and what clothing to put on every single day. It was simple and it was consistent. Layouts in Descript are like Steve Jobs' turtleneck. They are objects that you need to create just once. Then you can apply them over and over across an unlimited number of projects. For example, that title card I just used, this one, I use in every single video I make, but I don't make them from scratch every single time. That would be tedious. Instead, I made it once, saved it as a layout, and now I can use that exact title screen on every video forever. And once it's made, it just takes one click to apply and it'll never mess it up. So how do you make a layout of your own? Join me in Descript and I'll show you how. So here we are inside of a project. And from here, you're gonna find a scene that you want to turn into a layout. So in this very simple example, I just made a couple layers with text, a music layer, and then an image. And to save this as a reusable layout, I'm gonna come up to this thing that says scene one, right click on it, and you can see I have different options here, copy layout, paste layout, reset layout. We're going to save layout. And these, all of these things here are like folders. So if you've already created them before, you'll have something here. If you haven't, you'll need to click create new template. So each one of these, when I say they're like folders, they have multiple templates inside of them. So you can see this one that's called Descript Mastery. It has 10 layouts inside of it. And if I hit create new template, I am creating the folder here first. So there's gonna be a second part where I name the specific template after this. So I'm gonna call this folder test and you can make it private, meaning only you can see it. You can share it with your drive, meaning that you and any editors you share your drive with can see it. Or you can even make it public, meaning you could share a link and you could broadcast it to the internet. I'm just gonna make this private and leave publish on create ticked on. I'm gonna hit create. And then here's where you name the actual template. So I'll just call this one title card. And as soon as I hit add, that'll start saving it. You can see down here in the bottom right, it says it's in progress. And as soon as it says layout saved, that layout is now ready to be used. And now to apply our layout, if it's a brand new project and nothing's in it yet, I can click this see more layouts button and it'll open it up right here. You can see there's my Descript Mastery School title card. But if I'm already inside of an existing project, I won't have this option. So I'll have to go to scene over here on the right side. I'll go see more layouts. And then if you get this view, this drive tab is the ones that you've created and shared with your entire drive. Private are ones that only you can see and gallery are Descript's built in ones. So I'm gonna go to private because that's where I saved the one I made. I'm gonna come down to this one that says test and I click on it and it opens it up. It shows me all the layouts inside of here, which is just one. And when I click on it, that applies it. That's great, you're saying, but I don't need your stupid title card. So what else are layouts good for? Well, here's a few more uses that will save you hours of editing per project. Do you recognize this? Yes, that's 60 minutes. That's a layout. The team behind the 60 minutes production isn't wasting their editor's time recreating that screen every single episode for decades. It's a simple example, but they made it into a layout and you should do the same with every element that you find yourself doing over and over and over in your videos, intros and outros. Captions like this, even those titles that pop up in the bottom of your screen like this one, but how do you do that? Join me in Descript and I'll show you.
you already know how to save a layout from an existing scene. And if you don't, if that part hasn't clicked yet, I'd recommend go back and watch that part a couple minutes earlier in this video. But what we need to do to create a new one, I'm gonna create an intro first. It's gonna be that office intro that I just showed you. So let's pretend that this office intro from the show The Office is a fancy intro that we made in Canva or maybe we had a freelancer make it for us. Whatever it is, we're gonna bring it into Descript. And again, I'm using the office as our example. So I'm just gonna click right here at the very end of my project and I'm gonna add a slash. That slash creates a blank scene. So I now have a blank scene too. And what I'm gonna do is find the office here on my computer. I'm gonna click it and drag it into Descript and I get that purple box. I'm gonna release and that puts the video into my project and it's gonna to wanna to transcribe it. That's fine, I'll let it do that. So now scene two is my intro. What I can do is right click on it and do save layout, the same process we just saw a moment ago. So that's adding the intro. Now to do the captions, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna to click to the very end of my project. So my cursor is blinking down here. I'm gonna type a slash and I have a blank scene three. And to make captions, we come over to the right side where it says captions. And you can see here, there's a bunch of different choices. These are just templates, so they're starting places. So if you see a particular color or a particular font, then you can always change those later. But uh, let's say we're gonna add this green one with italics. And first, actually, before I do that, notice at the top it says apply to all scenes or apply to this scene. I'm gonna change it to this scene because I only want it in this scene. So I'm gonna come back down to bold italic green and click on it. Now that I've clicked on it, you can see down here, there is a layer that says captions. So there's currently no transcript in here, so there's nothing to be transcribed. However, this will still work for our layout. So scene three has our caption layer. So what we're gonna do is come up to the scene three thumbnail, right click and save layout. The last layout we're gonna make together is the title screen. So this is something you could use to introduce somebody and their company or their position in a company. And so to do that, I'm gonna to click to the very end again type a slash, I now have a blank scene four. Inside of this scene, I'm gonna to come to elements and I'm gonna click on one of these text layers. Again, these are just starting points. You can change the colors, the fonts, all that stuff later. I'm just gonna click on the smallest one and there's my text element in the middle, but that's not where I want it. I wanna put it in the lower third and I'm just gonna click in there and type in name. That's just gonna be my placeholder because once I start using this title, I'm gonna replace it with the name of myself or my guest. Um, and so that's it. I could add as many of those as I want. I can customize it. And then once I'm ready, I'm gonna come over to scene four, right click, save layout, and boom, we've created all of our layouts. Now you have the basics of layouts down. It's time to go varsity level. This next technique will allow you to edit your multi-camera podcast with the click of your mouse. Bullshit. Recently, I had a client who was editing her podcast manually and it was taking her over three hours to get through the edits for a single episode. What do you mean manually? She was creating a scene every time that the speaker changed in order to change the camera. She was also creating the general look for her podcast from scratch every single time. So when I showed her this next technique, it changed her workflow forever. So let's pretend I just finished recording a podcast using Descript's Rooms, which is their remote recording service. And what this does is it brings in a separate track for each speaker. So it's me and two guests. And this is from my course, by the way. I do group coaching twice a week as part of the Descript Mastery School. If that's of interest to you, check out the link in the description. That's my Descript course for beginners. And I've blurred them out for the sake of anonymity. But what I have here is three speakers in total. And the old fashioned way to do this was you'd have to go through and make each speaker full screen or change the cameras so that you have an A cam at parts, you have a B cam at parts, you have a C cam at parts, at other parts you have a side by side where all three cameras are on the screen at once. No more. With layouts, we can do this with the click of a mouse. So if I come over to this thing that says layer, click on that, come down to this thing that says multi-cam, click on that, come to this thing that says automatic multi-cam, 
And you can see here, I have a style I can choose. I'm gonna just leave it on automatic. Cutaways, leave it on occasional. Camera setup will already be done if this is coming from Descript Rooms. And then this default thing here is a layout from Descript. You can make your own where you have the name of your show on it, where you have your logo, things like that. But for the sake of demonstration, I'm just gonna show you with Descript's default layout. And then hit submit. So there we go. Now my whole project has been split up. So every time I'm talking, I'm full screen. Every time a guest is talking, she's full screen. And if it wants to show a cutaway, it's got all three of us on camera at once. And it looks like this. So I just saved hours from the editing process. Now you know the power of layouts, but layouts won't help you if you don't have a good system for creating the content in the first place. Check out this video next to learn how to create content faster than 99% of YouTubers.